After over a week of daily riding this new Tavarun 11 Plus, there are exciting upgrades coming with this new model. If you missed the unboxing video, the link will be placed in the description box down below. Make sure you check it out, there's a lot of cool info there. Here is the model 11 Plus after a full week of testing. I have to say, I am impressed overall with the package and performance of this model. But there are a few things that need attention. Just to go quickly over the specs, dual 1600 watts brushless hub motors, total power delivery 3200 watts, battery massive 60 volts, 35 amp power with 21700 cells, Samsung OLG. Weight of this model, it's only 79 pounds. It is incredibly how light this model is, considering we have a massive 35 amp power battery capacity. And this is the lighter scooter I know in this configuration. This scooter, it's super nimble, it has plenty of power to satisfy the most demanding riders. Design-wise, this is the second best looking scooter I have tested so far after the Carbon Roaster. That is another level. But I like how compact and how all the graphics and colors are chosen. Nice LED placement and a very sporty, aggressive look with a thin body and massive 11 inch wheels. I want to emphasize this one, it's special. Why? It is very expensive, it's 3500 bucks, so it's a lot of money. But And I'll get into acceleration and performance in a moment, but this is only 79 pounds. I tested so many scooters in this price range and the same size, similar designs, but not in this weight. And here I have 35 amp hour battery on this little monster. Anything I tested that has over 25 amps or let's say 35 amps in capacity weigh over 100 pounds. The M11, which is, I think, similar company where they work together or it's uh, one factor that produces different the models, has good power delivery, insane range, but it is 92 pounds. This is 79, and I like how it's sculpted here. The arms, the tension detail, you know, the fenders don't make noise, don't move, four piston brakes, nice rubber mat and by the way this is the new lens from Predator so I'll show you guys in a moment the helmet everything is top-notch and design is different so I reviewed the LS7 Plus love that scooter for 2200 bucks when I got it that was the best deal ever performance 70 miles an hour it's just very good quality but here the LEDs you know the the plastic cover start to move here it's solid it doesn't move it's just so much better done attention detail it's insane all this bolts covered just a beautiful scooter and the arms are sculpted so very very light and you have 11 inch tires and you have a lot of power this is lighter than Makuta has more battery way more battery capacity I think suspension here yes it's adjustable you can see here on the bottom good grips hardware to secure them the same good console we have hydraulic disc brakes really good uh, braking power four piston brakes I just showed it in the back this is in the front and I like how the fender connects it's just gorgeous looks really cool and it's just you know people will tell you oh it looks the same as other scooters but when you get closer all details so much more compact reinforced powerful look at this uh, cover here I have to get a light and show you so nicely done here it's very close but it's not touching so I can play with that the only thing that I would have to work on this and hope the company you know I think they I feel like they rushed this uh, uh, model too because it has new updates with the software with the app and I'll show you in a moment but I feel like they rushed it and sent it to me too fast I put this small little piece here I found it this morning on my uh, kitchen counter so you have to wrap all around remove this and organize better and just make it can be done it's so easy to do it it just takes a little bit of time you can wrap all this nicely so it's only one line coming and I like this it's have a room logo it covers the bolts for the stem Everything is so nicely done and it comes in this uh, trigger option but I feel like they should offer this model and also the thumb throttle I think that'll be also cool stem locking here on the bottom really nicely done I really like the attention detail now I don't know why they put zip tie here maybe I have to remove that maybe just packaging but besides that big light in the front overall it just looks insanely cool but the most important thing for me is the power delivery but it is extremely light for what you get so usually in this size this capacity this voltage this power delivery will be 95 at least 95 97 pounds or over 100 pounds having at 79 
it's super light and <laughs> insanely comfortable for the lever good bend here in the bottom nice cable management good organization look how it hides inside and have the spacer so no zip ties no bullshit like other scooters all this interchangeable easy to do another very important thing that i forgot to mention and this is happening with majority of the scooters even the last one that i tested the super fast carbon fiber the roaster when you have the steel dampener it's hard to to move and have limited turnability turning angle here look at this look how much angle you get this is the biggest turning angle i feel like i don't have a steer dampener i can turn so much it feels like you don't have any restriction really really well done cables are not in the way frame i love the transitions beautiful and this foot rest in the back and i'll give you the measurements in a moment the stem hook sticks out a bit and it would have been better if it's recessed inside the frame i step over it and move my foot higher it's not bad it is thick enough and it does not bend the rubber mat cover gets dirty fast and leaves a lot of marks but the grip is way better compared to grip tape and increases the control when you ride fast top speed to power on the scooter you need to use the fob key so press the on off button And touch the FC key and you're good to go. Now you need the app to manage the scooter. And you go on the Tavaroon app. Safety wise, this is good. If you're trying to operate fastly and just, you know, really quickly engage and go, that's gonna slow you down a little bit. So here it has to connect. See how it's connecting. I just actually called the shop. I spoke to your partner. So now it's going to show the battery, 100%. There you go, full battery. You press the brakes when the switch is going to change on the screen. So five gears total with Sport, the fastest one. All right, so all ready to go. The scooter is fully charged. Let's get the speedometer app so we can see the speed. And we'll see how much we can squeeze out of the scooter. I weigh 200, uh, I think 35, closer to 40 with the jacket, helmet and all the stuff on me, belt on the camera, so let's see how it does. Acceleration is there, it's good, it's powerful. All right, let's go. So 85 kilometers an hour on the screen, GPS, uh, no signal inside, but it fell smooth, good control, very stable, suspension, so much travel, doesn't make noise, exceptional handling, really like it, and you can feel how light it is, very responsive suspension, I haven't set it up, we can play with it and make it stiffer, but the way it is, perfect, so this is Speed and Eco. Yeah, first speed, five kilometers an hour, very slow. Second speed, we have some uh, kick. Looks like 33, go next speed. See in this corner, slide uphill here. Let's see what speed we get. Looks like 50 is the, the max and the top speed you've seen earlier. At the beginning, the first two speeds kind of like, you know, weird, but uh, the third and the top speed or the fourth here, it's pretty good. So yeah, it's uh, unusual, but I think if you play the app, you can set them up and uh, I'm not sure if you can unlock because I feel like there's more power in the scooter and it can go faster. So. I'll have to double check with the uh, Tavaroon team and see what can be done here. Uh, but so far, I mostly ride in a maximum speed. So for me, this is perfect. For this size, for this design, I think I don't need more. And I usually ride 25, 30 miles, sometimes 35 in the city. I don't go faster than that. Just for the videos, just to show you guys what uh, the roadster can do, I went wild. And just to show you every single model, what's capable of doing, uh, you know, I will... Uh, just uh, pose that. Range test. 
My weight with a backpack about 250 pounds, freezing cold under 35 degrees, tested the maximum sport mode. Aggressively accelerating and stopping at a lot of lights, I would say average speed between 12 to 15 miles an hour, the range of acceleration between 25 to 35 miles an hour. And I was able to cover 35.1 miles in range. Thickness, it is three inch and a quarter, and I like how it's rounded and you have all the slides under and this plastic cover. It moves a little bit here. Deck width, the rubber part, it is seven inch and a half. The entire body frame, it is nine inch and a half. The rear footrest, it is six inch and one eighth, up to six inch and a half, including the light. Deck length, 20 inch and a half. Length from the deck to the top stem, 38 inches, to the handlebars, 40 inch and a half. Handlebar width, it is 25 inch and three quarter. To fold the scooter, very fast and very easy, and we'll look closely at this new mechanism. Every time I get a new scooter, there's new features and changes in the design. So this locking part, this entire mechanism and this latch is so much more compact. You have this safety here, push it up, pull it down. Once you pull it forward, the lamp is still solid. It doesn't move anywhere. So you have this two buttons here, you press and it releases the entire stem and collapses. And you have here the spring loaded thing, lower this latch, you hook on the bottom. And once you just push it forward, locks in. This two little knobs, they engage and it's holding. You press back the lever and you're good to go. Very simple, very fast, and it's very compact. These pins are tiny and I'm not sure how well they will work long term if you fold them every day several times. I don't fold often but I'll have to follow up on this in several months and see how this holds up. And you have charging ports on each side, one here and one on this side. So when you order the scooter, and you should because this thing is awesome, make sure you get a second charger so you don't wait for 17 hours. Uh, besides that, everything else is beautiful. One thing that I'm confused and I asked the company, waiting for the answer. Not sure why this cable, it's hanging here. You're not gonna reach it because there's so much space in between. You can see from underneath. There's room here, I'll try to push it here. This could have been maybe pushed inside the frame. But besides that, look at this arm, how nicely it's done and so much room there. So I'm sure this can fit here. I have to play and fix that on my own. And back to the helmet, I got this visor. This thing looks super cool. But also when you look from inside, has this uh, greenish yellowish uh, tint, so the phone I think doesn't pick up. Well, when you look for this thing, it's like polarized, like those futuristic, uh, you know, lenses from Oakley looks super cool. And uh, you need sunglasses and make the helmet just pop really nice. I'll try to connect this to my red helmet and uh, see how it looks that should be super cool but this carbon fiber after testing the roaster and having the dot helmet which weighs freaking a ton this thing is so light and uh, it's good up to 40 45 miles an hour so still i'll be usually when i ride anything around 55 50 miles an hour i'll wear this if i ride anything that goes over 70 miles an hour i'll grab the dot helmet so this is a good combo with the scooter it looks awesome so this rubber cover it's glued and i have to remove it you have to peel it, just lift it up and you get access to screws all around and just use a tool and you can release it. It seems to be well waterproof from the top. We'll lift the lid up and see how it looks inside. It's a little bit stuck here. So you have this rubber gasket and really seals very well here. So the water is not going to get in. Super clean guys. This is really cool. I like this. And we have here info on the battery here. I like how they I'm gonna try to peel this out so you guys can see. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nicely organized. The controllers, look how small they are and they're underneath. So this is really trimmed to be the smallest possible. I'm gonna actually take this out so you guys can see the entire thing. This is really well done. I like the organization. So you pull this out and you have the cables. I'm not gonna do that, but you get the point. The controllers are underneath there, tucked in, right in the front, so they get a little bit of cooling from the from the aluminum frame or the alloy around it. I like this, guys. This is super clean, well sealed. This is the charger that comes with the scooter. We'll get it full charge in a little bit over seven hours. Lights. Let's go and check them quickly. So double-click strobe, which is pretty cool. 
single click and have a light and look it is very powerful but it hits far and it's a very narrow path so i'm definitely sure if you're on the path where it completely is dark here there's lights you can see in the back also plenty of lights so it's not completely dark and it's pretty good now if you're on the trails this is definitely gonna work because you have a lot of power you can develop high speed here and this is gonna be helpful but i would like to see a little bit wider beam so you have more if you can see those two lights on the end there and over there so slightly more intensity so maybe play with the reflectors and widen the you know the cups so you have all that focus spreading but besides that great light you can see in the front it widens and maybe like 200 meters in front of you it almost from the sidewalk to the sidewalk so it's pretty pretty good but i feel like it needs to be slightly wider for the city when there's lights for complete dark this is gonna be perfect and let's check the sides so the sides uh, now it's in the mode when uh, the colors are changing every couple of seconds but you can customize an app and choose one color or make your own color and you can adjust the brightness this is the maximum and it looks pretty sick i like it i left it stock so you guys can see i only increase the brightness and you have this light in the back which is also pretty cool in the daytime it's not really visible in the nighttime it is pretty bright and we have also rear brake lights which are very bright this is very good I like that really cool and you have the sides and the lips of the footrest so very nice lights guys here is the side look really cool guys you'll definitely gonna be visible nighttime on your ride and here's the throw in the front so it really spreads far really good light the screen easy to read good graphics colored and here we have the light turning signals the only problem is you see the signals are very bright have sides and the back and also you can see the the side LEDs are flashing so really bright extremely visible daytime nighttime the only problem is I always forget to turn it off so you can see the footage I ride and it's on so maybe like a beeping sound will be cool to have and here's the right side even the stem flicker so really well done I like the the lights on this model and horn pretty loud and this console so the only thing and i'm not sure what's going on all the buttons work except the plus the plus if i want to increase the speed i have to do it from the app if i press negative here if i press minus you can see i can change the gear and this button gives the specs odometer maximum to three miles an hour so just a mile and a half maybe faster after i change the settings not a big deal but uh, torque acceleration i think it's slightly more uh, powerful and this button doesn't do anything so um, good levers i can use one finger really comfortable guys i like the scooter it's really well put together except the cable here that's hanging that needs to be i have to you know play with that later see how it's here on the bottom I have to push it here and connect it so it's not loose and what else um, and the light that I would like to have a wider beam because this uh, light is really powerful so maybe I can just open here and play and push the light forward or backward so I can you know uh, or maybe change the diffuser here in the, in the front so I'll see I'll play with that or we get one light that has better uh, you know um, uh, lenses here but the rest everything else is just perfect it's 79 pounds is the lighters I tried with this power delivery with this settings with this design and I think this is my favorite uh, look so far it just it's just special narrow frame you know it's not wide and you have this massive 11 inch wheels and it's just enough power you don't need to go more than this also put off-road tires uh, and there's room here to go even 12 inches and uh, make it even pop more and look uh, more like a beast you know um, it's gonna add maybe a pound or two more weight but I think it's worth it for off-road for the city this is perfect I'm actually thinking to remove the fenders I think it's gonna look so much better without fenders and it would probably save another half a pound one pound so those that are looking for a lighter setup 
for the city this is going to be perfect so guys those that are looking for the most compact but the highest power delivery this is the one to get 3500 bucks it's a high price i think it's a little steep but you get quality here good battery good settings and uh, i know there's a bunch of uh, dual trons they're on sale now around 29.99 but three thousand uh, dollars and initially were 33 35 uh 3200 so i think this is better i kind of got tired with dual tron look and i don't like them that much i don't know why maybe because in the past they had so many issues but this tavern it's really cool new refresh design uh, it's just uh, feels feels different feels nimble feels more powerful and uh it's just a fresher model and it's just feels special so let me know in the comments below what you guys think i am really pleased this is going to be probably with makura on the first place beating i have to decide which one i like more i kind of like tend to to like this one more but makura also has special you know um, you know design has a little bit higher torque and acceleration speed they're very close to each other but uh, one thing here that's important this is much lighter and has a bigger battery if you add to makura 35 amp hour battery it's going to be probably 100 or over 100 pounds so this you know this setup and this weight with this battery capacity i think that's the best option today on the market i'm not sure if you can you know unlock the acceleration to make it faster makura but this is you know range wise this beats makura and one more thing that so this suspension versus makura 10 plus it's so much better i actually hit a lot of potholes manholes like deep channels on the road and this thing just you know no shake no rattle perfect this suspension it's one of the best i tried better than nami 100 percent sure which brand they use here but i have adjustability and even at hard you know hits when you you know go over those deep potholes it just rebounds there is no like sound like something is loose it's just you know precise quick rebound and i haven't even adjusted them i let them stock the way they are so very happy with the performance of the suspension in order to power on and start the scooter for the first time you need to install the app and create an account you can set a single or dual motors from the app it shows you here the battery capacity and you have the current temperature the voltage real time if you go here to settings you have the wheel diameter and you can adjust the voltage system auto upgrade advanced settings and this gives you abs kickstart you can remove kickstart so it can engage from the throttle and the throttle actually has no dead zone very smooth very powerful uh, and you can set each level to desire percentage of power delivery which is awesome besides that uh, what else we have here exit and see led settings so you can go uh, play with the colors and adjust exactly which one you like more then you have different options here this is really cool and intensity of the light so let's bring it the brightest and we have here the battery this is the part i really like so it shows you exactly all the information that you need so you have the voltage system 60.2 volts the battery capacity at the moment charger counter you have maximum voltage and minimum voltage what is cool here is that you have each cell showing the capacity you can see the cells in the battery are pretty balanced and here we have temperature per cell and alarm information so you can set up and the app will notify you when you have any cells in the low capacity your account and you have account management application settings product information scooter management so stuff that is personal settings battery in your account so pretty extensive app i like the, the battery and power delivery here the speed how it shows you can actually go in miles if you want to so you can change the miles and here you can press first gear second third fourth and fifth is going to be showing s on the screen i read somewhere about gps live location it's not in this app yet so i think that's coming later on but this is pretty much the function you get in the app with this model you have to see this in person i like how they rounded all the edges the rubber mat quality and this frame if you look the plastic covers and how it is around it from the top on the side it just looks special pictures on the website does not do justice how cool this looks and also this wheels if you look it is 11 inch and compared to the body how thin it is just looks massive and there's so much clearance so putting off-road tires on this model and going off road you also have suspension adjustability so nicely done it is so much travel you can definitely do uh, you know off road and bump some hills i have so much fun the scooter how they cut the weight all around 
and you can put brakes on both sides. You can do dual brakes if you needed to for high speed if you want to go 72 volts. So overall, I'm not sure how they managed to cut the weight so much and keep the performance, but this scooter looks, compared to others, more polished, more details. It doesn't feel cheap. It really feels light and nimble compared to other scooters. And I think this is a very good competitor to Mukura 10 Plus. It doesn't have the same acceleration, same torque, but it gives you that power. It's very smooth. It doesn't spin the tires as much, but it gets you to the top speed and has a torque, it has that punch, and it's so much lighter. And I like this design more, to be honest. And you have a steel damper included in the price, which is great. And we only need this uh, organizing, how you call this thing, you know, that are here. I just want them to be also here to complete the look and make it perfect. Besides that, everything else is just amazing. Great performance, very compact, small package, looks amazing.